I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. One of the situations we face in men with prostate cancer is that the cancer cells may be growing through the wall. And another option for treating that situation, which we call stage T3, is radical prostatectomy. Now, ideally, radical prostatectomy is done for men whose cancer is localized. But it's also a reasonable option when the cancer seems to be growing through the wall it still may be possible to remove all the prostate cancer cells. There is a greater chance, however, that cancer may be left behind. And so that's one of the downsides of undergoing radical prostatectomy. But a great number of men will still have a long-term long survival following surgery. And so the advantages of surgery is that you get it out, you get to look under the microscope, maybe you'll remove all of it, not clear if that's true. And then if the cancer does recur, it's unlikely to recur and cause problems with urination. That is part of the argument in favor of surgery. Uh, the side effects are the same side effects that can occur if a man has had is going to have local disease and undergo surgery. The problems are impotence and incontinence. Now, one of the issues that a man may face if he has surgery for an extracapsular cancer is that we probably don't want to save the nerve that controls erections on the side where the tumor is present because quite commonly the cancer will grow into the nerve and leaving the nerve present increases the chances that you will leave cancer behind. What is the consequence of that? Well, if you take one of the nerves out for a man undergoing surgery, he is much less likely to regain his ability to have good erections after he's recovered. And so the probability of retaining or regaining sexual function will be reduced in that scenario compared to a man that may have radiation therapy. And that's something to keep in mind when you're weighing the pros and cons about which option is appropriate. Another thing that can be done with the surgery is the lymph nodes can be removed and examined because if the cancer is present there, then additional therapy is going to be suggested. And there's another controversy, and that is if cancer is in the lymph nodes, should you have the prostate removed? Many people would argue that you should, but there's no good scientific studies that have proven that taking out the prostate is really in your best interest if cancer is in the lymph nodes. So many patients will undergo a lymph node removal at the beginning of the operation. Those lymph nodes are sent to the laboratory for examination while you're under anesthesia. And if those lymph nodes come back showing cancer, then the doctor will generally stop the operation unless you've given him or her the the direction that you want to proceed no matter what is seen in the lymph nodes. That's another controversy. But when the cancer is outside the prostate, the chances of it growing into the lymph nodes have increased. So, surgery is a good option for a man with a tumor outside the prostate. There is no data to say, is it the best option? It's a reasonable alternative among the options that we do have available. And if you're considering it, make sure you understand the pros and cons compared to, to the other treatments available. Thank you.